Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm here today to review some from the Scoville Food Institute as the Naga Jalokia hot sauce. And this was part of the Chris present I got from John back in 2016. It's the very last hot sauce from there. And Scoville Food Institute is a local hot sauce manufacturer in EPA, which is really cool. Support your local businesses if you can. I didn't know we had hot sauce places in Erie. And this is, a Naga Jaloki is one of the main names for the ghost pepper. And it's a super hot, and I want to thank John for sending it to me, because I'm getting caught up on all my older hot sauces. I still when Heather sent me, then, uh, and those were all from 2016, because, I mean, if you get, like I said, that stuff Michael sent me, that other ghost pepper stuff was so hot. I mean, you get really hot so sauce, it lasts for a while. You know what I mean? That's why I got behind the hot sauces. Let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to do the hack. I had a, the, because this has no spout. No dropper in it. So I'm going to do the hack of putting a little bit on a, that's how I did the hack a while back on a butter knife and tried to taste it that way. We had little bits of, see little bits of chunks of pepper in there too, which is really good. And other things. Make sure you get some on the knife first. Okay. Some right there. Yeah. Oh, it's a slow burn. Well, I'm starting to feel it now. Oh, wow. That's really good. It has a fresher taste to it. It's, um, I definitely taste the notes on it. Uh, flavor profile on it. It's really good and really hot. But it's a slow burn. It's like more in the back of the throat this time. Because sometimes with some of the burns you get like on the tongue like that or like on the lips. Sometimes in the back of the throat. This is more in the back of the throat type of burn. I like it. I get the super hot Naga Jalokia hot sauce. Uh... 9 out of 10. Thank you, John, for sending this to me. And also, I want to do a review of the Saturday the 14th film franchise, if you can call it a franchise, but there were two made. One in uh, 81 and one in uh, 88. And I saw, uh, well, I saw them a long time ago, and then I saw them again on YouTube. We are both on there. Now, the very first thing with uh, the very first Saturday the 14th, I remember seeing commercials for it. And it was a horror comedy because, I mean, they just had, uh, I think Paramount just released Student Bodies. And this was a PG-rated horror film. And just like two years later, they released that movie Hysterical. And it was PG-rated. I, I thought, man, well, maybe I can go see it because PG-rated. And then both that and Hysterical only played for one week and was gone. And the one different thing about this is they had, like, uh, usually you can kind of guess the type of actors that might be in it. But they had big actors, like... Paul Apprentice, Richard Benjamin, and Jeffrey Tambor in this one. In the first Saturday 14th. And it revolves around this uh, one couple getting uh, winning a uh, winning, uh, house while well, getting a house through inheritance. And the house is real fixed up, or just put it mildly. And this one family of vampires wants to buy it. But they move in. And uh, the vampires, there's something in the house called the Book of Evil. And the vampires are after that. And this one kid reads the book of evil, the one of the sun, and all these monsters show up. I don't want to give away anything else. It's a very short film. It's only 75 minutes. And the one thing with this movie is, like I said, I saw commercials for it. And the one thing that really stuck in my mind is this girl hold up a giant hand. I guess someone uh, did the dishes for him, and then this girl brought out something. I thought it was a giant hand with like a giant uh, glove. Latex glove used for wash dishes. It was like purple, like three fingers. That's the only. I that's the one thing I remember for, and it was on a commercial, because I remember seeing commercials for it. Like I said, it was gone. It was played and played for one week, and it was gone. Like the drive and or maybe the West Erie Plaza. Cause the West Erie Plaza played the weird ones too. Um, it didn't do that well. And then I either saw I rented it uh, in the army in Germany, or I saw it on a. CBS Late Night Movie. I think I saw it on a CBS Late Night Movie. I think. And um, 
I liked it more uh, this time than I liked it more, I think, back then I did this time. I thought it was really good. I thought it was very strange because, I mean, they had some some kind of jokes and then sometimes they just played it straight, sort of, even though it was silly. And that one girl could scream, that one daughter, she could scream, oh, my, if you're wearing headphones, turn down the volume because she screams loud. I mean, it was loud. And now Paul Prentice can scream loud, too, but that, that daughter... Like, I don't know, 16, 17, she could scream loud. Uh, but it was, I mean, the I like the twist. Uh, what a twist. But there was a fight scene that, towards the end, that was really, really dumb. That was lame. I mean, that, that kind of brought it down some. But, I mean, aside from that, I enjoyed it. I give it a 7 out of 10. Now, the second one, it was weird because someone told me about Transylvania Twist. I, said, I don't think I saw this. And then, uh. And then I saw the movie that he sent me a link to that. And they had a clip where these guys, uh, the guy and girl goes into this room. And there was a black and white. And it was like the thing from the Honeymooners. I thought that was Saturday 14 Strikes Back. Cause I remember I read a couple of these horror comedies back in 93 when I got out of the army. And I got them confused. Because I thought it was Saturday 14 Strikes Back. But no. And, and then um, I did see Saturday 14 Strikes Back. And... Um, I, the reason I remember stuff from Transylvania Twist was because it wasn't really anything very good in Saturday 14 Strikes Back. And part with this guy, you know, this kid, you know, he's supposed to, uh, 16, 17, he had like this female vampire and they were doing a song and the, the other female vampire doing dance. It was stupid. Avery Schreiber was in it. I like Avery Schreiber. Ray Walston was in it too. And uh, I believe Howard Morris was in it as well. Um, I didn't think it was nowhere near as good as the other one. And this one, they probably spent more money in this one. And, I mean, both movies were really short. The original, uh, Saturday 14th, 75, this was only 78 minutes. But, boy, it seemed like it was like two hours. I mean, it, it was really lame. And there was stuff like a guy had, a, like, a submarine in his stomach. And it was stupid. It, it was a real disappointment. I give that one a 3 out of 10. And the weird thing about the first one was, I remember on um, seeing a video, you know, going to, uh, I never rented it though, but I, I think I saw it on the CBS Late Night Movie. <coughs> I saw the video, uh, video cassette at uh, Home Video Exchange, or as my friend John would say, Lampman's. And it was from Avco Embassy, so I always thought this movie was from Avco Embassy, it's not, it's from New World Pictures. And you see it was produced by Julie Corman, Roger Corman's wife. And then the new one, the one in 88, was made from Con by Concord. And that was produced by Julie Cor Corman as well. Because I know Roger Corman left New World to go to Concord New Horizons, I think it was. So, like I said, I, the first one's much better, but they're both... The first one's really strange, and the second one's just kind of dumb. I mean, there's monsters, but the monsters don't come till much later, and there's like a mist. Not the good movie, The Mist, that we saw, but the mist that makes the people, like, half spoons, and they go in this one room, all the adults, and Avery Shriver's making a sculpture out of ice cream, and they all, I guess they all eat the ice cream or something. It was stupid. So, I hope you liked this review, movie review, and also hot sauce review. Uh, cold getting better. I still got a little bit of cough, though, but hanging in there. So until next time, bye, please. Take care of my leads. All right.